Hey there, welcome to Art of JML. I am JML. Today I am going to paint a landscape for you. Now I know landscapes can feel a little daunting and they are. <laughs> I know, I try to paint them all the time. But uh, this one I feel like I did particularly good with and I thought I would share with you some of the things I did to just make the whole process easier. The first thing I do is add a horizon line and I like to add it somewhere off center just to add a little more visual interest to the piece. Starting in one color can really be helpful if you don't know what you're doing. For example, like I didn't know what I was doing with this piece, so I just blocked in colors and cut shapes away where I thought it would look interesting. I intended this piece to be aimed towards my yawner world and the world is very strange and different and colorful, but I wanted to start with just the shapes. What shapes would bring out that weird, strange appeal, but also look familiar? So I aimed for something that looked like it could be rocks or big plants or cactuses, and I feel like these shapes went best with how the yawner looks. I don't know if you've seen it, but it has like a round head with these weird antlers that kind of look like cactuses. After I'm happy with the shapes I came up with, I try to go in and do some color overlay. It's really easy if you just do a gradient color and sort of slap it over top of the shapes you have. You can use the filters like add, color, hue. Uh, difference doesn't really matter which ones it can really help you out just to see what is possible without overthinking it too much after I figured out the colors that I was going to go with I just started grabbing a bunch of different brushes uh, just anything with a different texture than what I think I'm going to use and played around with how I was going to paint the different areas of color for instance you have the blue sky and I took a little bit of purple from the bottom area and some yellow from where the water is and just kind of blobbed it everywhere. It didn't have a real rhyme or reason. It was more for texture and to see if I couldn't uh, come up with some different shapes or different things that I wasn't thinking of in the beginning process of just the flat shapes. After I felt that I had a good enough base to start with the color, I added a layer above my other layers and colored it black and switched the layer mode to hue so that I could see the uh, the different values that my piece had because even though it's a landscape, I really wanted the main focus to be on those two plants that are right off to the center on the left side. And I wanted to make sure that those were more highlighted than other areas. And I often had to go back and forth between uh, my colors to make sure that they shifted more towards a lighter color where I wanted them highlighted, made sure everything else was more dark or pushed further into the background. I didn't want to draw too much attention to anything else, just that main area. You might have noticed the color wheel that I had in the top corner. That was actually an idea that I got from Marco Bucci. He did this really excellent 10 minute uh, piece on how to make colors communicate better with each other. And I tried to get that in my piece because I do struggle a lot with color relationships and if you I'm sorry, but if you have ever seen any of my previous landscapes, the, the colors are always arguing with each other. There is no communication whatsoever. So I really tried hard to employ those methods and I feel like it worked really well, adding more grays and more subtle colors with uh, punches of brightness here and there really worked out nicely for what I was going for. Since I could already see where I wanted the sun in the sky to be, I already knew where the shadows were going to be, but in the beginning the shadows were very dark and I did end up toning them down a lot because that dark orange was just so, so much more what a sunset would give you, more so than if the sun is that high in the sky. And that's really something that I have to learn to pay better attention to when I'm doing pieces. I tend to get so focused on just maybe doing the sky 
that I completely forget about what everything should look like in correlation to it. Speaking of the sky, I noticed that I overpainted it. I mean, it looked really good. I really liked how I painted the sky, but it didn't really fit with the rest of the piece. And this is another problem I tend to have where I end up mashing too many conflicting styles with each other. Like I'll have a, a cartoony style in one area of a piece and an, a hyper-realistic thing. Like I drew a cartoon girl and she had a hyper realistic shirt on it just i i do it all the time and for this piece i actually went back and even though i didn't want to i redid the skies so it would better fit with the overall look of the piece the rim lighting on pieces is probably one of my most favorite parts but i don't feel like i get it right uh i need a lot more practice but it, it's still one of my favorite parts to mess around with and I was having a lot of trouble trying to get the light to look like it was really punching. It just, it always, it looked dull. It looked like it was falling on some rocks when I, at this point, felt like I was going more for a plant. And I just wanted it to have a more transparent look to it. Like you were holding a light up to a cactus or a leaf and you could see right through it. I did end up adding some details of grass here and there. I wanted to make sure that I kept the idea across that this was a low grassy plains area. I also added more brush strokes to the water because I wanted to give that impression that the water was flowing in a direction. And the color I kept the way it was because not only does it reflect the sky's colors, but I also wanted to keep it interesting and bring some of that blue and yellow down into that pink and purple just to show how much more this piece can be tied together. After I added some more details to the water with the shadows, I went through and tried to perfect the rim lighting. It was still a huge challenge. I didn't quite understand what I could do to make it look the way I wanted it to. Even though I did research and I did have references, it was really hard for me to try to pull off what I was looking at. So after a lot of uh, hassle, I just decided, hey, I'm gonna go super saturated and just lay in this really saturated orange color. And when I did, it ended up looking really good. So after I threw that color down, I decided to kind of nitpick and uh, mess around with the saturation of it and mess around with how bright I can get away with it and see how I can make those shapes look a little more rounded and a little more like a plant. It's around this point where I start trying to think about what else I can do for this piece because I have been picking at these two middle pieces for quite a while. So I decided to add more grass, a little more detail, and also alter how those plant structures look in the background. I felt like they were commanding too much attention for where they were, and the atmosphere of course would be taking over at that point because they're so far away, so I needed to dull out those colors and make sure that they worked for being that far back. It's around this point I start going back and forth with my uh, value layer, that black and white layer, and I start noticing that the two center pieces aren't commanding enough attention like I wanted them to. They're sort of grayed out for the background. They're not really standing out a lot, so I decided to add some highlights, some sunlight, because I really did want to punch up that background just a little bit because the scene, even though the sun's shining, it wasn't shining quite enough. So I did all kinds of things with reflections and light, and I just kind of went crazy with glows and everything. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty nuts. In the end, I overall really like this piece. I liked the subtle highlights in the water, and I really liked how I finally got that rim lighting looking like it's a plant or a living thing that you can see through. 
And I mean, the piece, it came together really well. Probably one of my best landscapes. Not the last one, but definitely one of my best ones. Did you see anywhere where I could have improved? If you did, feel free to leave a comment down below telling me what I could have done to make this piece just a little bit better. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, and if you didn't, leave a dislike and tell me why. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, we got this.